Dontrell, have they shown you anything this year? We know about the walk-off yesterday. That's nine walk-off wins for them this year that, that says they're a World Series winning team this year as opposed to the last two. Well, we won't see, we won't be able to tell until the postseason. Yep. So when they get to the World Series, and they should be the representative of the National League, when the chips are on the line, can they get over the hump? Can they stay within themselves and play their type of baseball and get it done and get to upper echelon front line team. They might see the Astros, they might see your Yankees. Totally. But can they stay within themselves? They already know what's at stake. They haven't won a World Series since 88. It's a lot of pressure on this team. They don't want to turn into the Buffalo Bills of baseball totally. and continue to lose in the World Series. So we're going to see when they get to the postseason, but most likely they'll be the National League representative. Yeah, no doubt. Well, hopefully for the Los Angeles Dodgers, third time's a charm, mm -hmm. right? I mean, obviously yeah. losing the last two seasons. I think the one thing that I really enjoy about this year's Dodger team is it, it just doesn't seem like there's as much drama in the locker room, Absolutely. right? Kind of like last year in the playoffs, seemed like the narrative was about Manny Machado and the things that he was doing, not necessarily what the Dodgers were doing. Maybe a couple years prior, it might have been Yasiel Puig right. and, you know, the things that he got himself into. This year, it just seems kind of things, everything seems kind of cool, right? Mm -hmm. Just kind of seems like they know exactly who they are. Analytically, I think they are way better this year than they were in years past. They're letting their guys play when they need to play. Right. And they're putting their best product on the field. Very focused in that locker room. Roberts has done a heck of a job. Yeah. Especially keeping them hungry, keeping them focused on the task at hand. Ryu has grown. You've seen Bueller grow. I tell you, even Clayton Kershaw with his diminished stuff, he's actually a better yep. pitcher. So this rotation has grown. Is this the back end of that bullpen? Can they stay healthy? Oh, yeah. Can they stay yep. confident? Yeah, and is Kenley Jensen the Jensen we've seen right. in, in the past reliable? The Dodgers are with four rookies in their starting lineup tonight and uh, already out in front. Right. I'm going to go with Yelich, and this is why. Okay. Because if you take him out of that Milwaukee Brewer lineup, I I don't think they're nearly in the position they are right now. If you take Cody Bellinger out of that lineup, they've still got some studs in there that can kind of protect him. But at the end of the day, both these guys, MVP candidates, bro, one of these two guys is going to get it. I, I, I'm going to do like our big brother, Big Hurt. I'm going to do the flop. I, I'm taking <laughs> both these guys. Like, it's, it, it, it's too close to tell. Both yeah. these guys are on the barrel. They're two of our best players, especially in the National League. It's going to take someone to have a bad week. It's going to be that yep. close. Does it I'll, matter a first-place team, a playoff? Absolutely. I, that's I, I think that's going to help. If, if Yelich fights and gets them into the postseason, he wins right. that MVP because right about that. It, you know, Bellinger has a little better supporting cast around him. I was in a race like that with Chris Carpenter. We were going win for win, both 20-game winners. He started the All-Star game, and his team ultimately got in the postseason, so the trophy went to his house. But that's how tight this we'll race is. steal that that's trophy. All right. <laughs> that's all right. But, you know, it, it, it's fun to watch these guys. They're a talent every single night. You know, they bring guys to the park because they're going to do something positive every single night. But I think right now it might be a hair with Yellows, but I, I, I'm going to do the Dr. Flopper. We love you, Big Herb, but yeah. I'm going to flop tonight. No, you're, that's a big flop. Uh, <laughs> but what, that's I mean, a what, whole lot of flopping. One guy's 24, one's 27, so they're going to be around a while. Right. Maybe, you know, do they rest Bellinger if the Dodgers have a big lead later? Could that have an effect? Not I, if there's uh, money on the line. No? They're going to want okay. that trophy to come down to L.A. You All know right. what I mean? So he's going to continue. Plus, they want to continue to keep him hot, hot. and confident, too. Yes. So you don't want to sit him too I mean, this is a career 270 mm -hmm. hitter, and, yeah. and uh, he's turned it around.